The San Andreas Fault by Gibran Khalil. The San Andreas Fault is a continental transform fault, meaning a fault that moves horizontally on land, which runs through California. The fault's length is about 810 miles, or 1,300 kilometers. The San Andreas Fault forms the plate boundary between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate, and is the most famous fault in the world. A fault is a region on Earth's surface that is split into two pieces. Most faults are small, but some can be miles long. The San Andreas Fault was first identified in Northern California by a Berkeley professor by the name of Andrew Lawson in 1895. The fault is named after a small lake which lies in a, in a valley south of San, of San Francisco called Laguna de San Andreas. The San Andreas Fault is divided into three sections, the southern segment, the central segment, and the northern segment. The southern segment, also known as the Mojave segment, begins near Imperial County and runs along the southern base of the San Gabriel Mountains. These mountains were formed as a result of movement along the fault and are also called the Transverse Range. After passing through Kern County, the fault bends northward, or as many people know this as the Big Bend. This section of the fault has an earthquake occurrence of 140 to 160 years. The central segment of the San Andreas Fault runs northwest from Park Field, which is in Monterey, up to Hollister, California. Parts of the fault that run through Park Field experience earthquakes, but the rest of the fault experience something called a seismic creep, which is when the fault continues to slip without causing earthquakes. This is why the central segment does not experience many earthquakes. The northern segment of the San Andreas Fault runs from Hollister all the way through Santa Cruz Mountains, then travels all the way up to San Francisco Peninsula. This is the section of the fault that is, m is most ag active, meaning th the most seismic activity and earthquakes happen there. This is the point where Professor Andrew Lawson discovered the fault. The fault continues north all the way up to Men Mendocino Triple Junction, which is in Northern California. At this point is where the fault terminates. The San Andreas Fault is 28 million years old. It began, as you can say, when the East Pacific Rise, the boundary between the Pacific and Farallon, a minor plate, subducted near what is now L.A. As the fault was spreading northwest and southeast, it gradually grew and is still growing today. The grinding of the plates and earthquakes are gradually reshaping California. Scientists predict in a few million years, California will look a lot different than what it does today. This is because the fault is spreading and growing gradually, moving in California. Scientists predict it might grow to be 1,000 miles long in a one million years. There have also been some famous earthquakes along the San Andreas Fault. The first major one was 18, the 1857 Fort Tejon earthquake. Even though it's called the Fort Tejon earthquake, the epicenter was far north and just south of Parkfield. Also in this earthquake, only two deaths were reported and it was a magnitude of 7.9. Probably the most noted and well-known earthquake along the San Andreas Fault was the 1906 disaster earthquake and fire of San Francisco. The epicenter was near San Francisco. At least 3,000 people died due to the earthquake and fire, and the earthquake was a magnitude 7.8. Another famous earthquake along the San Andreas Fault is the Loma Prieta earthquake. This earthquake caused 63 deaths, as well as moderate damage to vulnerable areas in the San Francisco Bay Area. The earthquake also postponed the third game of the 1989 World Series. The most recent earthquake on the fault is the 2004 Parkfield earthquake, which happened a couple months before the huge Sumatra tsunami on Boxing Day. The Parkfield earthquake was a magnitude 6 and was felt throughout the state. The San Andreas Fault is a remarkable fault and is famous for many historic events in California.